Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of solving one variable equations and inequalities. This is standard 6.10a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 32 which is a new item type called equation off the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have this new item type. We It's simply called equation. We're going to have to type something in. It could be a decimal or it can even be a mixed number or fraction. If we do attempt to move on without typing anything in, we will get an error message that says you have not answered the problem. So let's make sure we don't leave it blank. Let's open up our graph draw feature here. So we simply have this one variable equation, x equals x plus 72 and 8 hundredths equals 106 and 7 tenths. All right, so what do we do to solve this? Well, let me show you how I would solve this. You might have a different method. I'm going to rewrite it here a little bit bigger. When we're thinking about solving for variables such as x, I always imagine something I learned all the way back in first grade, and that equal signs are like a balance. And you need to keep your equation balanced. So imagine if we put something on this side. Well, we have to put the exact same weight on the other side in order for it to stay balanced. And if we do that, well, then we are going to be just fine. So let's make sure whatever we do on one side of the equation, we do to the other side of the equation to keep it balanced. So what are we going to do? Well, I need to get that x all by itself. And in order for me to get that x by itself, well, I need to get rid of this. And let me change my color right here. This is the only thing that's keeping that x from being by itself, that plus 72 and 8 hundredths. So what is the inverse operation of addition? Well, the inverse operation of addition is subtraction. So if I subtract 72 and 8 hundredths, look what's going to happen. Plus 7208 minus 7208. That is going to cancel those out. That's going to leave my x by itself. But in order for me to do that, I need to keep that balance. I need to do the same thing on the other side of the equal sign. So if I subtract 7208 from both sides, I'm going to have a balanced equation. That's going to leave my x all by itself. So I need to subtract this. I'm going to add that 0 right there. And let's just do basic subtraction now. So that's going to be 2. It's going to be 6. Make sure my decimal comes down. That's going to be 4. 10 minus 7 is 3. All right, so 34.62 is what I came up with. If I wanted to, I could double check by adding the 7208. All right, I can stick this back in here and say, all right, 34.62 plus 70. 208 because really I think this x is going to equal this. Does that make 106.7? So I could double check that, but yes, that is going to equal 106 and 7 tenths. Now, how do I enter this? Well, there's two different ways you can enter it. Obviously, the simplest form is going to be just enter it as a decimal, right? So you can take your 34.62 and just move about your day. And if you want to do that, that is correct. You also have another option, which would technically be correct. And if you scored it like this, it's going to be fine. You could actually do this. You could do 34. You, now, let me start from the beginning. You have to hit 34. But when you're ready to get into the, the mixed number part, you actually have to hit this fraction right here. And it automatically defaults to the numerator. So you hit 62. And then you have to actually select the denominator. And look at that. I've got 34 and 6200, 62 over 100. This also is the correct answer. So you can either do 34.62 or you can show it as a mixed number and that's going to work.